Hello everyone. So we are back with the series of lecture on Puri Thara Rata and this is the 21st video on date series. In this we'll discuss about this classification of antiarrhythmics. So we have class 1, class 2, 3, 4. Then we have class 5 as miscellaneous. And recently class 0 has also been added. Okay. So in class 0 we have drug evaporating which blocks funny channels okay then class one is the most important of all antiarrhythmics the so class one are the drugs which inhibit fast sodium channels okay so a myocardial tissue ka action potential agar hum draw kare. so this is the action potential this is phase zero this is phase one two three and four so in this this phase zero is because of sodium channel and Phase 3 is because of potassium channel. So, class 1 antiarrhythmics block sodium channels. So, all of them will delay depolarization definitely. Out of them, class 1A also blocks potassium channels. So, when they block potassium channel, they will also delay repolarization. Okay. So, they will prolong QT. The drugs are quinidine, procainamide, diisopyramide, and morisizine. Okay, you have to remember them. And question can definitely come to which of the following is a class 1A agent or a class 1B agent. Okay, class 1B agents they block sodium channels but they open potassium channel. So now, since they open potassium channel, they will delay depolarization but they will make repolarization early. Okay, so they will not prolong QT. They can shorten the QT interval. Okay. Then in class 1C agent, we have flaconide, ankenide, and propafenone. They will block sodium channel but have no effect on potassium channel. So they will delay depolarization, but they are the strongest sodium channel blocker. So they will de delay depolarization a lot. So they will increase QRS duration. Okay, then we have class 2 agents in which we have beta blockers like esmolol, propanolol, acetabutalol. Then we have class 3 agents which are again potassium channel blockers. And this we have amidron, sotalol, ibutylite, tofutylite, and bretiline. So, important thing about class 3 agent is that sotalol, although being a beta blocker, is in class 3. Okay. Now, class reagent are potassium channel blockers, so they will also prolong QT. And one important drug in class 3 is amidron. Because amidron, although is a class 3 agent, and the main mechanism of action is potassium channel blocker, but amidron has multiple mechanisms of action. It can act via sodium channel blockage as well or calcium channel blockage as well. Okay. But main mechanism of action is potential potassium channel blockage. And amidron is a wide range antiarrhythmic so it can be given in all arrhythmias then we have class three class four agents in which we have calcium channel blockers like verapamil and diltiazem and then we have class five agents miscellaneous in which we have digoxin and multiple other drugs so all the best guys just keep studying